welcome back to my channel so I'm going to take you quickly how I plan out one of these collages I first of all decide where I'm going to want the sky and where I'm going to want the beach so this is all going to be water I've marked a line down the middle and it helps me keep the pieces straight and in the ocean I've just put faintly lines three inches apart. Working on a grid system, when this is quite a geometric collage, makes it much simpler. And then I've organized all my strips in these little portion bags according to color. And over here I have some pieces drying. I'm gonna do this particular piece I'm going to do with a cloudy sky and um, I'm also planning on doing one a different one with trees reflecting in the water so that's going to be for the bark so I've planned out my colors but I already have ocean colors from my last one so I can go ahead and begin the ocean because those are going to take a little bit to dry and then I just take my Liquitex matte gel and oh, gremlin on my board and apply, apply the gel. and then decide what I want my ocean to look like. Now I always think oceans are kind of darker on the horizon. That one's not straight. It's neat as that one. Um, so, I'm going to plan it out like that. So that's all the ocean done. Um, when it's completely dry, I'll turn it over and trim down the sides of the paper. And the process for the sky will be exactly the same as this. And this is what I'll use for the sky. This and this one. And the other thing I do is roll it so this is completely dry now and I am going to trim all the extra pieces off it and then once I've done that I'm going to mask the sides and put one clear coat of resin. And we'll use those bits for something else. And 
methinks I could do with a sharper knife. I've changed my blade. Anyway, um, I could manage for this. So after I've done this, I'm going to turn the camera off and mask it, and then I'll come back. I've already got the resin mixed, and then I will show you the resin step, okay? Okay, so I masked off the sides all trimmed, masked off the sides with washi tape and taped the back. That way, and the washi tape is really thin and the resin just doesn't get underneath it, so that's why I like it. Now the next thing to do is place it on my plastic sticking. On some little cups. Bring it back in. You can't even see it over there. There. Um, let's see if I can bring you in further. That's a bit. Maybe it's a bit better. There. So we're going to make sure. It's flat, and it should be, this table's pretty flat. That's it, it's perfect. Move it up a little bit, get it all in the frame. And now I'm gonna put some gloves on. Costco special. I can put them on. Medication time. Oh, my hands are a bit sticky because I had gloves on earlier. Right, all done. Move that out the way. And now I'm going to put the resin. And I previously mixed it. It's been sitting for about 10 minutes. This is hard coat countertops art resin and the working time you have about 45 minutes so you can afford to let it sit and let some of the bubbles rise to the top so that's that I'm just going to spread that out with a spreader just to the edge The other thing I did with this was I um, sealed the inks with a fixative spray. Okay. Now that's done. That's looking great. I am going to use my torch. I'm also actually going to go around the edges with my fingers just to make sure it's all up to the up to the edge. I'm not too worried about this area because that's going to have sand. And this resin is a beautiful doming doming resin. It's also going to get another coat. So pop those bubbles. I'm 
in the morning I'm going to take the washi tape off so by tomorrow morning it won't be completely dry it'll be it'll be dry to the touch but not to any pressure and, and I'll sand it and take you through the next process so that's that part I'll be back for the next stage okay this has had two coats of resin and it is very annoying that my camera tripod has broken so I have another one on its way all that needs to be done with this project is the sand down here so I'm going to take a piece of washi tape and tape it off this I've got my sand mixture and just spread it and I taped the sides so the sand doesn't run down there so I'm just going to spread this around doesn't need much spread it nice and thinly like spreading, I don't know, peanut butter or something like that. And then I've got to be careful about my breathing for some reason. Maybe I should use the microphone because when I've been like watching or editing the videos. Excuse me, that's the dog again. Penny, 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 Penny. I'm sorry. Penny, come here. Oh dear. What do they say? Don't work with animals and children. Anyway, this is it finished. I don't like that bit of grit in there, baby. I've got the other one going. Hey, you two, come here. Come here. Hey, Penny. Oh, her bark. She's a miniature schnauzer and her bark is so loud. It's shocking. Anyway, then take the washi tape off while it's still wet because that, I have discovered, is the best way. Throw so that in the trash. And then what I'm going to do very quickly is I'm going to put the hairdryer on it just so that it stops moving, grappling around here on the floor to find the plug. Um, right, on a low setting, just so that it stops moving. There you have another abstract geometric beach. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit subscribe and take a look below the description and find out where I got all my supplies, etc., etc.